Hello, and welcome to Blender 3D Animator's 10th Blender 3D Tutorial. Now, today what we're going to be going over is how to create a spinning galaxy effect with the particle system. If you haven't checked out my video on my particle animation that kind of looks like a spinning galaxy, spinning firework kind of thing, uh, I recommend you check it out, or... Um, you could even just skip right to this tutorial, but check it out first just to see what you're going to be making. Alright, so we might as well get started. Press X, erase selected objects. Face, add, mesh, circle. Uh, vertices, you want six. No fill. Okay. Now that you have your circle, Go down to your uh, this tab and then particle tab. Add a new particle system. Next, what you're going to want to do is go down here where it says bases and select vertices. Now, what I want you to do is to check it out. Just press Alt A. Obviously, see these just little particles. Stop. No, nothing. So increase your normals, increase some random, press all day. Pretty good, except it's kind of coming out in little spurts and nothing's really flying out. Increase your normals a little bit more. It's just little spurts, nothing special. Now what you have to do is select random, press alt A again. Now you have a relatively nice animation particles don't go out very far but um you know you can even make it emit more so increase that somewhere around 10,000 so it's nice and thick like that and you can um decrease your random if you like if you like it thin um if you want a thin effect decrease your random if you want a thick effect increase your random now what I want you to do is where it says start and end, you want it to start and end at, uh, you want it to end at frame 250, enter. And the life can be 250 frames. Now zoom out and press Alt A. So if you watch it go through the whole thing, you'll see it spread out. <laughs> pretty far distance and then it resets so if you want to go out farther you can increase your normals that's a bit more like it alright so now you're probably wondering well if you rotate well it's not spinning aha go to top view press the N key Make sure your rotations are all at zero, and select and press I, and then click on rotation. Um, actually, click on location rotation. It'll say lock rot. Now, advance 250 frames. Go to frame 250, and rotate your Z. Uh, more above a thousand if you like. I'll even go two thousand to show you a really heavy example. Oops, I forgot. Make sure you're at frame 250, crease it to whatever you like, and press insert location rotation. Now press Alt A, and your circle spins. and then it'll start to slow down as it gets to the end and there you have it now if you wanted to say a less dramatic effect and just a little less spinning lower it and press I insert location rotation alt A again now you can see it's spinning slower um, still spinning at a relatively high pace but not nearly as fast as we had it now some people like not even a, uh, a galaxy effect, but just a really crazy heavy spin effect. So if you increase it to 10,000, press Alt A, 
it'll just spin uncontrollably and particles just kind of randomly emit not in any ordered fashion whatsoever but I still think it looks pretty cool so you can really change however you want it um, whoops that's how you do rotation I think I'll stick with a thousand insert location rotation so the reason that we also have the location is that if we go to frame uh, I like go to frame 25 uh, drag your circle up on the z-axis and then press insert location rotation now advance maybe five frames or uh, to frame 30 and set your location z back down to zero and press insert location rotation now press alt a from the beginning it goes up right in the beginning and it goes back down pretty cool gives a nice neat effect now you can do that more than once so now let's go to frame 100 insert location rotation and then advance 10 frames and grab your circle on the z axis really high or I'm sorry um, after that frame 110 make sure it's at the bottom insert location rotation then advance like five frames grab it on the z-axis insert location rotation now you can go down slow so it'll uh, 150 change this to zero insert location rotation now let's play the animation spinning jumps up and down <coughs> it flies up goes back down slowly with a nice little twirl pretty cool and then why don't we give it a nice little effect at the end let's go to frame uh, 160 insert location rotation now go to frame 250 drag it up insert location rotation now watch your animation so it'll jump up real quick right there and it'll jump up really quick around frame 150 or I forget where it was and now at the end it'll slowly rise up so it gets to frame 250 it'll stop so it gives it like a real cool like giant cone effect so that's how I created my spinning galaxy um, there's gonna be a part two on changing the color of your particles because it's a little more advanced so I'll see you guys in part two later